This is the story of Destiny Jasmund Carey, aged 33, a successful young business lady and a mother of six who was gunned down by her jealous husband, Kevin Frazier, during an argument just as the police arrived at her house. They appeared to be doing well until this sad day when she was shot dead in her home for silly reasons. Kevin also shot the responding cop during his escapade. This was all because she would not let him control her and he could not handle her getting really successful and leaving him. Don't hide now, Kevin. Show the world. You know it. What? Scream yourself. No, scream you. You know it. See, I, I was doing a text and he was all in my business. I was trying to do a post on Facebook. He was all in it. Hey! You think she's doing about it. You know who you are? She thinks you're grown. She bitch for getting Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. Based on this case we will be heading to Copperas Cove, Texas. Founded in 1879 as a small ranching and farming community. It is a neighbor to Fort Hood on the west, and centrally located in the heart of Texas on Highway 190 between IH-35 and Scenic US-281. Copperas Cove is a great place to start a new business or relocate an existing one. Copperas Cove, a city with a proud heritage and a bright future, is dedicated to improving the quality of life for its citizens. Destiny Jasmund Carey, aged 33, also known as Destiny Cannon was a mother to six beautiful children who she strived for every day to give them the best in life. She went a great length to provide for her kids and make them comfortable. Destiny was a nurse and also a business owner who worked very hard to keep her business on point. She was a local designer responsible for a number of beautiful clothing items worn by Colleen women and models. She owned a boutique shop in central Colleen called High Saturday Boutique. The shop is located at 1103 West Veterans Memorial Boulevard, Suite 105. All day every day, she invests her time into the business. That was most likely her major source of income. Sometimes she models for her brand. She loved going out, she was a very happy person who enjoyed herself by going to clubs. Destiny had been dating this man named Kevin Frazier for a bit of time. They can be seen in several videos talking about how long they have been together and how much they mean to each other. Love you, Destiny. Frazier is a veteran of the U.S. Army, according to records obtained by Army Human Resources Command at Fort Knox, Kentucky. He served from July 2004 to April 2016 and obtained the rank of Staff Sergeant. In some of their other video you could see them as a family and as a couple. <laughs> I think this is my drink. I don't know what's the name. <laughs> it was in the middle. What? It was in the middle, right? Uh, where is my drink at? 
This shit tastes like straw. I sipped it. This shit tastes like straw. Okay, go. Go follow my drink, then. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey y'all, I'm trying to see do this look right on me. Bye, dang! Oh, dang, look! Look, look, look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's like, you slapped her. Oh, my, can you call uh, my drink? Your drink is in the car. No, it ain't. <laughs> Things were so nice looking from outside, but as we know that all couple have their problems, they do have their problems too, but it seemed like he knew how to handle it. Oh, this, I see, this is why I need my man. I can't be without no man. This just ain't it. They go out together, stay on Facebook Live, and do what some couples see as romantic and sweet. On April 7, 2022, she posted a message on Facebook saying, One thing I know is that y'all need to stop letting people have so much power over you. You should not be on the same subject on day two. That message seemed a little cryptic, especially from someone who had not posted anything of that nature previously. On that same day, at 12.25 p.m., in the 1000 block of Hobby Road, police received a 911 call which hung up after some seconds into the call. Officers usually go check up on the address of that call when such call occurs. When the officer arrived and knocked on the door to make contact, he heard a male voice instructing him to wait. When he heard screams emanating from within the residence, the officer continued to knock and then proceeded to kick the door open. When the officer kicked the door open, he heard several gunshots coming from inside the residence. He observed a woman, identified as Destiny, lying on the ground near the front door, not moving. The officer also saw a man, identified as Kevin Frazier, lying on the ground in the living room. During all this process the responding officer was struck in the leg by shrapnel. Kevin fired the weapon which ultimately struck the officer in the leg. The officer communicated with Kevin and placed him in restraints before attempting to revive Destiny until the arrival of paramedics. Destiny was unable to be resuscitated by paramedics, and she died from her injuries. As other officers arrived, Kevin was escorted out of the residence and officers observed that he had gunshot wounds to the torso area. No one know for sure how he obtained the gunshot injuries. Kevin was transported to Carl R. Darnall Army Medical Center at Fort Hood where he was treated for his injuries before being taken into custody. Tonight we are learning more about a woman found dead after a 911 hang-up call in Copper's Cove yesterday. Yeah, police identified her as 33-year-old Destiny Carey. Six News anchor Jasmine Caldwell spoke to her family today and learned what the, she was a rising entrepreneur in the central Texas area and even a business owner in Colleen. Well, yeah, I'm outside of High Sididi Boutique. It's owned by Destiny Carey, the woman who was shot in Copper's Cove yesterday. I spoke to her family and other small business owners who say she's going to be missed. This is the home on the 100 block of Hobby Road where Copper's Cove police say Carey lost her life. On Thursday, police responded to a 911 hang-up call and discovered Carrie dead in the home. They also found 37-year-old Kevin Frazier with a gunshot wound. I spoke to Carrie's daughter today, who was too heartbroken for an on-camera interview. But she did tell me, quote, My mom was a hard-working woman who took care of all six of us. She was a nurse, and she had two businesses in Colleen and was getting ready to set up a third location in Dallas, my mom always wanted to be happy, end quote. She went on to say, quote, she was always a fun person to be around. Her laugh just lit up the room. She was everything. She always wanted to help others out with their kids, their businesses, and much more. She was always welcoming. Carrie was a small business owner. Her clothing and shoe boutique called High Sadidi Boutique is located on West Veterans Memorial Boulevard. According to Copper's Cove Police, Frazier is still in the hospital as a result of that gunshot wound. Carrie's daughter tells me that Frazier is Carrie's husband. Frazier was questioned by police twice more after he was removed from the scene, once at the hospital and once at the Copper's Cove Police Department after he was treated and released. His interviews about the events of what happened by the detectives was labeled as very inconsistent. 
Frazier was arraigned by Coriel County Justice of the Peace Bill Price on charges of homicide and aggravated assault against a public servant. Price imposed a $1 million bond on the murder charge and a $750,000 bond on the assault. A man found injured in the same house a Copper's Cove woman was found dead in has been arrested himself in connection to the case. 37-year-old Kevin Frazier is charged with murder and aggravated assault. On April the 7th, police in Copper's Cove responded to a home on Hobby Road after someone from the residence called 911 and then hung up. When they got there, they found 33-year-old Destiny Carey dead from a gunshot wound. Frazier was also suffering from a gunshot wound but survived. After an investigation, police have now charged Frazier with Carey's death. He's in the Coriel County Jail tonight with a bond of 1.7 million dollars. Days later, a memorial was placed outside the door of the shop. It is learned that Frazier has been arrested by Killeen Police on multiple occasions, according to data provided by the Killeen Police Department. The woman right here? Her? Oh my God. She worked hard to the point that she worked hard. She worked hard to the point that everything that she got. She worked she worked for you know what I'm saying? Don't think that I'm that nigga that support her. Oh you know what I'm saying? Like, she do her own thing. She do her own thing. You know what I'm saying? We a f team, you know what I'm saying? That's why we've been married for four years. Six years strong, though. Don't, four years married, but six years strong. She done my drink. That's my drink. That's why he acted an out to y'all. Today is our anniversary. We hope Destiny Carey gets the justice she deserves very soon. This is another sad case bringing to light the issue of domestic violence and what we should be looking out for in relationships. Destiny is survived by her father, mother, six children and a grandchild. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Destiny Carey. May Destiny's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video. So just know, I appreciate being, no, appreciate, I'm blessed to be a part of this lady's life, this woman's life and everything, you dig? All right, but don't forget, her mama, Raise her right. Independent, strong. She get on the grind and do what she need to do. Nah, fuck. Ain't no, ain't no damn tipsy. I'm for real. I only had one drink tonight so far.